there and welcome to Friday Food Finds on Orna Bakes. Today we are talking soup and I just got back from Trader Joe's and I'm going to show you how you can make soup with, you don't even have to pick up a knife. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is get mirepoix. Do you know what that is? I'm going to tell you. It's chopped celery, carrots and onions. This will give your soup a wonderful flavor right off the bat. You're going to cook it in a bit of olive oil. You can use any extra virgin olive oil, but this is the Trader one, Joe's one that I buy. And then you're going to saute it. Remember to season every single layer so that your end product is delicious. So saute that in olive oil. I also put in chopped leeks. Trader Joe's used to have sliced leeks and unfortunately I haven't been able to find them. So okay, I lied. You might have to pick up your knife one time in this whole process. Slice these thinly, make sure they're clean, and saute these with the mirepoix. And then what you're going to do is add some tomato paste. And this is fantastic. It's in a tube. Remember the old cans of tomato paste and then you'd have to throw away the, the leftovers or freeze them. This way you have it in a tube. You can leave it in the fridge for up to a year, I believe. So you put some, once you've sauteed it, you put some of this in and you're going to kind of brown it in there. So all those flavors develop for like 10 minutes. And then you're just going to toss any vegetables you like. Basically, I put in green beans. I do cut these into like thirds. Okay, again, second time of the knife, not bad. A bag of cauliflower. Yeah, I'll just show you. Some carrots. I usually peel and chop those, but I made this easy for you, baby carrots. Some broccoli florets. You can't make soup without butternut squash. And then, of course, you need your liquids. So Trader Joe's, again, makes it super easy. I use low-sodium chicken broth one of these plus one vegetable broth, low sodium so that you can control the amount of salt and then you make it as flavorful and delicious as you need to. And then you just boil it and then you just can use an immersion blender and puree some of it or I actually like to eat it chunky and then make sure that you freeze them in little containers and you will never be without absolutely delicious soup. Now I have one more thing to tell you. The soup does have a secret ingredient and I'm not going to tell you right now what the secret ingredient is. You know why? Because you're going to tell me. So I'm going to post the secret ingredient next week. The first person to guess what the secret ingredient is, is going to get a signed copy of my book. So make sure you're following Orna Bakes on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, whatever your favorite social media is for the recipe and the secret ingredient of my soup. See you next time.